watching Dog Year Beesings, and today I'm doing a bit of a reading check-in. It's been a couple months into the year now. I think by the time I'm posting this, it'll probably be sometime in February, which it's like, oh my gosh, 2024 is already moving so much quicker than I thought it would. I wanted to kind of do a little bit of reflection because one of the things that I really noticed when I was doing my review of last year was I was really having a hard time figuring out and remembering exactly what it was what I loved about the books that I read. And so I thought I would do um, a thing where I picked two of my favorite books that I've read so far this year and then a couple of books that I'm excited to read in the next coming months, hopefully this month. So kind of like a wrap-up TBR, except not every single book, like the highlights. So one book that I really, really loved, and we'll show it here was the graphic novel Jonesy. And I won't go into super big detail about um, what Jonesy is about because I read this during my 24 hour reading challenge. And I just love this book because it came to me in a place where it, it just fit really well. I, I needed something that was light and fun and Jonesy really delivered. It was very loud. It was very like, just really high energy. So it was really fun to read. And I loved the characters. I loved the color palette. I loved who Jonesy was. It was just a really exciting read. I feel like this year, what I've really been enjoying about my books is I have found some really, really funny ones. Like I don't usually laugh out loud when I read and it's gotten to a point where I do and I recognize that I look a little a little wonky doing that, especially since I'm alone. But it's just so awesome when you're like fully engrossed in a world and you just, the humor hits. And I feel like with writers, humor is something that is so hard to do. In comedy, sadness is, sadness and anger are the emotions that comedians and actors go to the most, surprisingly because it's a lot easier to act those out. But with humor, it's a lot harder to get the message across. It might not hit as well. And what I've really loved in my reading so far is I've read some books, Jonesy including, where the humor just hit me really well. And that's been exciting. Another book where the humor really hit is an arc that I'll put the publishing date in the bottom of the show notes of this arc that is called Oye. And this is a coming of age novel, also a book that I read during my 24 hour challenge that I finished I think a little bit after, if not the last day of the challenge. And this is a book that focuses on a young girl who is graduating from high school and she's growing up in Miami and it's during hurricane season. But what is clear is that mother nature had her way once again. Real life. <laughs> and it focuses on this girl and her family and it's written um, in epistolary style so through voicemails and phone calls like one-sided phone conversations that she's having with her sister about their family dynamics and what is really a pivotal moment of this young girl's life and where she feels like she is fitting in with her family or also feeling a bit of an outcast and it is a book that like really really grows with you to the end i i didn't realize how hard it was gonna hit and the ending just got me and it's a book that i'm gonna be thinking about a lot and i know angie really liked it too so i'm gonna need to reach out to them and fan person about it because that book was so good. <laughs> All right, so what are the books that I'm excited to read in, I'm gonna say this month, cause you know, intentions. We're gonna beam it into the universe that these books will get read by the end of February. First book is Blackouts, which like, I have the library version, which like, I'm not gonna talk crap about libraries because I will say this is a copy that I wish I owned because the cover of this book is just like <laughs> I don't know why I made that noise, but the cover of this book is just amazing. 
Um, and I would love to talk to the person who designed this cover because the thought that was put into it was just so cool. Anyway, this book follows uh, two young men, I think during a blackout, and it's all about sexuality and storytelling and legacy, and it is done apparently in a way that like kind of takes storytelling and like wraps it on its head, and I'm looking for new like unique ways of doing narratives. Like I think I need to revisit Clarice L Lispector too, um, just because of how she does narrative and how it's so different and brain warpy, and I'm really hoping that that's what I get uh, from this book too. Some big brain energy where my brain feels a little broken. <laughs> I've said it in every single one of Kat's videos. Every single one of Kat's videos. And I'm gonna pull my hold slips out of these books. But here is the proof that I finally have my Sigrid Yunez copies of two of her nine novels that she's written, or nine pieces of writing that she's written, and this is the month, I'm saying it here, that I'm finally going to read these books. I'm finally going to quit writing on your videos, cat. that I need to read these books, because these books will get read, and I will tell you about them. If you don't know what the friend and the vulnerables are, oh, I was holding this cover upside down. There you go. The friend follows a woman whose friend passes away and she is left with her dog. And the vulnerables, I'm kind of going into that knowing absolutely nothing. I know that there is an animal in it and a human connection with an animal. And I wonder if that's a theme that Sigrid Nunez does in a lot of her writing is like animal connections with characters. I'm really looking forward to some bittersweet kind of fun sad lit fic that focuses on just like I want some friendship and you know if it's between a parrot and a great dane dog let's go and finally ugh, my arms are gonna need to get some strength the peloton classes aren't working apparently but we've got this massive tome of a graphic novel it's called Shubek Lubek and it's by Dina Mohammed and it focuses on a group of Egyptians in an Egyptian town where, where wishes are for sale. And it kind of goes in these little mini stories that are interconnected about the wishes that these uh, characters have and how it connects in this town. I'm really looking forward to reading it. I went down a rabbit hole of some of the best graphic novels that were published last year and this one just kept on making all the lists so I knew I needed to get my hands on it. I love reading graphic novels on Sundays and I feel like this is going to take me a couple of Sundays to get through and I'm excited to chew through it. Anyway, that has been my check-in and I will let you know how it went. But some things that I'm really excited to get to are reading more humor and getting through those books. But one thing that I have a question for you guys is I'm really looking for a really good novel that focuses on revenge. My scorpion brain needs that little itch. Some good gossip and some good revenge. So if you have any titles that you think that I might like that focus on revenge, hit me up in the comments below. You don't need to say Wuthering Heights. I've read that one already, <laughs> as per a couple videos ago. Anything else, feel free to write in the comments below. Alright, see you next week. This has been Dogyard Musings. Happy reading. <laughs>